Hey, what's up guys, it's Tips, and today I wanted to talk to you about something crazy that's happened in the past 24 hours. Yesterday morning, a former Blizzard employee by the name of John Statz released a Kickstarter campaign for his new book called The WoW Diary. Now, what is The WoW Diary? Well, according to the Kickstarter, the World of Warcraft Diary offers a rare, unfiltered, comprehensive look at game development. John starts at WoW's humble beginnings and gives a fly-on-the-wall access to the dev team's conversations, debates, failed experiments, and internal pressures. The WoW Diary is licensed by Blizzard Entertainment and it contains over 130 behind-the-scenes images. Essentially, the book is a diary of the World of Warcraft development process and John has been given permission by Blizzard to release this to the public. Now, full disclosure, I have secured a copy of the book myself, and I just want to be transparent about that. But that isn't really what I wanted to talk about today. I don't really want to talk about the book's content. I want to talk about something even more exciting to me, and that is the results of the Kickstarter campaign. Guys, within 24 hours of launching his campaign, John Stats has sold over $170,000 worth of the World of Warcraft Diary. $170,000 in one day. Now, when I first saw this, I was absolutely mind blown, like I'm sure a lot of you guys are right now. And a big congratulations to John on this success. I think this is awesome. But I started thinking about something a lot bigger than the WoW Diary. And that is the potential of Classic WoW's financial success in the future. Guys, if a scrapbook of the vanilla WoW development process sold over $170,000 in one day based on a Kickstarter campaign, how well do you think Classic WoW is going to sell considering Blizzard's massive PR team today and obviously the millions of people that have been asking for vanilla over the past decade? $170,000 won't even be a drop in the bucket. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but last week, Activision Blizzard released the number of copies sold by Battle for Azeroth in the first day, and to most people's surprise, it is now officially the best-selling WoW expansion of all time within that first 24-hour period. Now, as somebody that's been following World of Warcraft since before the game even launched, I can tell you that that is not really normal. There are always a ton of sales generated by new WoW expansions, but to be the best-selling expansion of all time, I have a hunch that this may be due in part to Classic WoW's announcement at BlizzCon 2017. You see, a lot of vanilla fans, including myself, have purchased BFA on the assumption that Classic WoW will most likely require BFA's purchase before you can actually play the game. Remember, the way J. Allen Brack phrased it was that there will be a Classic server option in World of Warcraft, and he didn't necessarily say that there will be a separate game sold. So I think a lot of people took that statement into account and believe it means something along the lines of the two games will be bundled somehow, and you will most likely require the purchase of the modern game before before you can access Classic WoW. Full transparency, that's probably the biggest reason why I bought BFA in the first place. I thought that eventually when Classic WoW came out, I was gonna have to anyways. And I know a ton of people that have done the exact same thing. And that leads me to believe Classic WoW's hype is part of the reason why BFA has sold so well. So when we take a look at both BFA's success and now the WoW Diary's success on Kickstarter, the picture starts to become very, very clear. People are starved. For vanilla wow content and people cannot get enough of it and more importantly people are going to be jumping over one another in line to get their hands on classic wow i just think this is tremendously obvious i think the kickstarter campaign by john stats proves this as well as the bfa sales guys i know a lot of us already knew this but dear lord the classic hype is real and as great as that is, it also raises a tremendous amount of questions. If thousands of people are willing to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in one day on a World of Warcraft diary, how many millions upon millions will be willing to spend 50 or $60 to play classic World of Warcraft, and how many people will be on those servers day one of launch. Now, obviously nobody knows, but like the rest of you, I've got an estimate in my mind, but that's not really what's important here. What I think is the most important thing is that hopefully Blizzard is keeping their eyes and ears open at the success of both BFA, which I'm sure they are, and the success of the WoW Diary, and using that as some kind of variable in order to calculate their estimates to see just how many people will be playing Classic WoW on day one. Basically, I really hope that Blizzard realizes they're going to need more than like 20, 30, or 50 servers. 
they might need hundreds of servers, especially if they're planning on keeping the original player capacity of vanilla, which was around 3,000 concurrent players on each server at any given time. Now, in contrast, too many servers could actually be just as big of a problem as too few servers. And I hope Blizzard is really taking their time here to understand the situation, conduct as much market research as possible in order to understand how they are going to roll out the servers at launch. Because I know we talk about changes a lot, guys. I know we talk about, you know, LFR, or not being in classic and stuff like that. Forget all of those features aside, in my personal opinion, the biggest thing that is going to determine Classic WoW's long-term success is how they handle the launch because it's something that can really screw the pooch. If players are trying to log in day one and they can't, day two and they can't, day 10 and they can't, how long can World of Warcraft Classic actually sustain itself? I mean, 20 servers is just not enough. And at the same time, 500 servers a year from now or even six months from now man half of those servers could be dead by then so i hope blizzard's server launch plan is tight-knit i hope they're putting a lot of time and energy and figuring out how they're going to roll out these servers and i hope they're taking cues from things like bfa success and the wow diary success to understand that look classic wow it's a big deal people are hungry thirsty ravenous for this kind of content and most importantly we cannot wait to get our hands on classic but based on all of the information given to us by blizzard thus far i do think they're doing a pretty good job i do think they are a competent company obviously and i do think especially after licensing this project to john stats they are paying very close attention to how vanilla products sell and uh, hopefully that translates into a great server launch that translates into great server capacity and server quantity and ultimately that translates into a great classic wow experience but yeah Good times coming, hopefully, and I know I'm very excited personally about getting my hands on the WoW Diary. I can't wait to make a video about it for you guys, and uh, I'm very excited to be speaking with John Stats in the near future about this project and other projects as well. Hope you guys stay tuned for that. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos thus far. A lot of other videos coming. I know I've been doing a lot of streaming lately on Twitch, but I haven't forgotten about my YouTube channel. I will never forget about my YouTube channel, and I've got a lot of really exciting quest guides, dungeon guides, and stuff like that coming for you guys in the near future. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, tips out, baby.